Here we're going to find the critical point and phase portrait of the given autonomous first order differential equation and also classify each critical point as stable or attractor, unstable or repeller, and semi-stable. So we call the right hand side of this differential equation f of y and we need to find the roots of the right hand side of this differential equation. So we can factor out y and find that the roots are y equals 0 and y equals 3. Now we have two critical points which divide the y-axis into three regions. So the first region is between 0 and 3 and we can pick a value of 1 and now we can find f at point 1. So 1 is positive, 1 minus 3 is negative, so f at 1 will have a negative sign. So since it's negative, it's decreasing. So we put a downward arrow between 0 and th The next region is for values of y greater than 3. And we can pick a value of 4 and find the sign of f of 4, where it will be 4 times 4 minus 3. 4 is positive. 4 minus 3 is positive. So f at point 4 will have a positive sign. So we can draw an upward arrow there. And finally, the last region is for values of y less than 0, we pick negative 1. So f at negative 1 is minus 1 times minus 1 minus 3. Minus 1 is negative, minus 1 minus 3 is negative, so f at minus 1 will be positive. So we will have an upward arrow in that region. So for the first critical point, y equals 0. For the values greater than it, it's negative. For the value less than it, it's positive. So everything is going towards the critical point of 0. So we will call y equals 0 an attractor. And also we can say that y equals 0 is a stable critical point. Then for the next critical point, which is y equals 3, for the values greater than it, it moves upward. And for the values less than 3, it moves downward. So we will call point 3 a repeller or we can say that it's an unstable critical point.